systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve. It can be defined as an abnormal motion of the mitral valve result resulting in the anterior displacement of the leaflet cooptation. Uh, the net effect is LVOT obstruction. The systolic anterior motion is a displacement of the distal portion of the anterior leaflet of the mitral valves toward the left ventricular outflow area. It can occur in patients without hypertrophic myopathy and is a well recognized cause of unexplained sudden hypotension in perioperative setting. The risk factors uh, include uh, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. It is encountered in ICU as a complication about 5% in the mitral valve repair. It uh, uh, occurs in the patient with myxomatous degeneration and excessive redundancy of the anterior and posterior leaflet. A small uh, hyperdynamic and hypertrophic left ventricle is an additional risk factor. SAM may occur more commonly with the rigid annual plastic ring and possibly as a result of reduction of the anterior, posterior and inner diameter. But it does not occur with flexible rings and in repair without rings. The factors that reduce L LV cavity dimensions such as hypovolemia and aggressive use of inotropes exacerbates SAM. Tachycardia also exacerbates SAM. The treatment consists of careful volume loading, reduced inotropic agent and increase after load. The gradient across the LVOT can be assessed by the transesophageal echocardiography. Mild to moderate SAM is treated conservatively. Uh, it normally resolves. In severe LVOT obstruction, the removal of aneuroplasty ring is often, uh, it often improves the SAM and the repair normally remains competent. Sliding leaflet repair, removing the redundant posterior leaflet so that the line of cooptation is well away from LVOT have been used to avoid SAM in the cases considered as a high risk of developing it. To understand SAM, we have to understand the role of the mitral leaflets and the uh, annulus. The disruption of the dynamic unit of the mitral annulus and the MV leaflets can predispose to SAM. Excessive anterior posterior leaflet tissue can produce, uh, predispose to SAM because uh, they provide a larger surface area on which the dragger fo drag forces drawing the MV anteriorly towards the LV can occur. And it may also cause MV cooptation point to move anteriorly towards the LVOT. Any anatomical or surgical translocation of the MV anteriorly will decrease the forces acting to draw the MV anteriorly and that may precipitate this SAM. The changes to the posterior leaflet uh, height have also been predisposed to be important as the result of the anterior shifting of the cooptation point closer to the base of cooptation predisposing the SAM. This supports the role of sliding posterior leaflet plasty techniques to move the cooptation point uh, posteriorly at the treatment of SAM. There, there are different types of repairs uh, for the annulus which could be rigid, semi-rigid mitral links with the disruption of the anterior mitral annulus. Patients with the mitral links can demonstrate a gross disruption of the LVOT function on the uh, imaging and there is evidence that it identifies the disruption of the mitral annular root and the aortic root dynamics and may cause uh, SAM. The annular endosizing is also a risk factor to SAM as it promotes the bulging of the leaflet tissues. The subvalvular apparatus uh, can alter the position of the cooptation with respect to the septum and this can result in SAM and there is a growing evidence of the SAM is associated with the caudal anomalies such as elongation and buckling. The surgical intervention of the caudal including the transaction, translocation, reimplantation may result in SAM. SAM of the caudi, uh, of the caudi themselves can occur in the patient presenting uh, with the cardiac disease or, or a known cardiac uh, eyes, uh, abnormality.
The function of the left ventricle must be considered in assessing the SAM because uh, this is the result of the complex geometric interaction between the valve component requiring a significant venturi effect. Uh, SAM can be a part of the congenital anomalies involving the subaortic stenosis, a cleft AML and accessory uh, papillary muscles uh, that is successfully managed uh, uh, by the excision can uh, be a treatment of uh, congenital SAM. It can also occur in the transposition of the great arteries where myocardial dysfunction may make the surgical correction uh, difficult. The post-AVR SAM should be considered in the context of pre-existing aortic stenosis where the increased velocity in the LVOD causes the drag on the anterior mitral leaflet resulting in SAM. This is compounded by hypertrophic smaller LV cavity often found in such patient. After the surgery reduction after load may cause MV to move closer to LVOT. Post AVR SAM in the context of aortic insufficiency is uncommon as the LV is commonly dilated. SAM can also occur in diabetes, myocardial infarction, hypertension, endobity mean stress tests and uh, general anesthesia. The post myocardial infarction is thought to be due to alteration in LV geometry triggering the opposition in hypokinetic and hyperkinetic regions of the acute MI. There are various imaging modalities to assess and uh, the best and commonly used is echocardiography. It's a powerful tool to um, characterize SAM patterns, however multiple components interact. The three-dimensional echocardiography has demonstrated um, emerging good role and uh, the use of tissue doppler may accurately identify SAM. So management depends on two factors, the anatomical lesion is responsible for the degree of severity which is related to the response of uh, conservative therapy and uh, the overall strategy on the anatomical principles technique used to prevent the SAM surgically. Medical therapy uh, can also be given and with uh, there is a we can use beta adrenaline receptor blockage volume loading phenylephrine can be used and the approach for the intraoperative post mv repair sam has a stepwise uh, management pattern so one has to manage uh, conservative first. This is start with the cessation of inotropes and intravascular volume expansion. If this, uh, this fails, then beta blocker can be used. If SAM persists, the surgical repair is attempted. The outcome of patients with moderate SAM who are treated medically are good. So how to prevent SAM? The AML and the an annular dimensions uh, need to be seen and if there is a mass uh, ma mismatch then the patient has the tendency to develop SAM therefore predispose that the choice of annular sizing ring should be in account to AML height and uh, that the AML height was the most important determinant of the SAM. A large posterior mitral leaflet could result in a relatively more anterior cooptation line and use uh, this to suggest the posterior leaflet sliding plasty could eliminate the SAM. The aneuroplasty rings are placed in the posterior leaflet and can be reconstructed using a continuous suture and a triangular resection is not performed uh, and the excess tissue of the PML is taken into buttress and aneuroplasty ring can be performed. The alternative method including leaflet to edge to edge stitch technique. This uses a continuous suture with a large bites between the anterior and posterior leaflets in the mid region. The suture measures 5 mm and ensures large area of cooptation.
Congenital papillary anomalies associated with hookum can contribute to SAM, although uh, papillary muscle displacement are associated with leaflet elongation. The characteristic septal hypertrophy observed in hookum creates a large drag force and promotes the venturi effect, which can move the MV anteriorly, resulting in the SAM. The diminished LVOT also lowers the threshold for SAM. The, LV anat the MV anatomy is disrupted adopting the abnormal D shape with a large amount of anterior leaflet ensuring the LVOT. In hookum, the SAM become, uh, begins anteriorly before uh, initiation of the ventricular ejection. So, there are complex ventricular uh, phenotypes and septal hypertrophies which increases the drag forces on the MV and can be due to the primary MV anomalies. The multifaceted approach can be used to repair uh, and evolution uh, of SAM if required. Septal myectomy is the fundamental to those. Septal myectomy increases the distance between AML and septum and also reduces the LVOTO. And uh, this results in the reversal of the ventricular hypertrophy which further reduces the risk of SAM. So it's a complex disorder that shifts MV anteriorly during the systole and impair the cardiac performance. Its mechanism is not fully understood but includes the pathoanatomical dysfunction and relating to MV and its apparatus. So we need to understand the mechanism of its multifaceted disorder and may provide a future therapeutic options and uh, with the advancement of robotic and minimally invasive surgery uh, hope that and with the improvement of imaging modalities hope the management of SAM will increase in the future years. Thank you.